a cool balance of the two. Does that make sense? It's like kind of this like push-pull relationship between soluble and insoluble fiber. It also acts like a sponge for toxins. So how much do we need? Us humans on the average need like 30 to 35 grams a day and we're lucky if we're getting 15 as Americans. Um, Arvon's fiber is from pea, citrus, apple, orange, and beet. Uh, no. Sort of uh, one of the FAQs, and this is for people that have used the fiber. It also contains inulin, and so sometimes people will have an issue with um, either gas, bloating, um, stomach issues with our fiber. So just cut down with the fiber a little bit, like in half. Then there are the food sticks, which contain 50 milligrams of caffeine uh, derived from plants and uh, B vitamins. Again, for energy and stress, and just help support the adrenal glands, or support your nervous system. Um, the B vitamins are one of the key ways to support your nervous system. Okay. Uh, chromium is also really good for blood sugar balancing. Chromium is something um, for my diabetic patients. I'll actually supplement with chromium specifically. Then there's the detox tea. So the detox tea, if you're going to put me in a room and our R&D, the research and development team in a room and said, you guys, go make a detox tea, 100%. Uh, we would have come out with the exact same formula. So our detox tea contains milk thistle, which milk thistle has an affinity for the liver. And when I say something has an affinity for something, it means that when we consume it, I imagine it goes into the body and it's like, liver! <laughs> Where have you been in my whole life? Like, I get so excited to see this one particular organ. And again, welcome to my brain. Um, uh, it allows the liver to detoxify properly because that's the number one job of the liver. I mean, the liver does a ton for us, um, but it's like, if you think of it, it's like your car filter. Um, aids with helping in high cholesterol, chronic inflammation, uh, which we talked about, and then is a potent antioxidant. So before we move forward, I really want to get clear about what is an antioxidant and what do you think when you hear this word. Because again, these terms like stress, antioxidant, healthy eating, all these things we just throw around. Um, I want to be clear about what they are. So antioxidants and free radicals, based on life, we are exposed to free radical damage, which are groups of atoms that are actually unpaired and they run around the body punching holes in our cells and causing damage. Now the analogy that I use that some of you guys have heard is I imagine this kid on the playground and his name is Jimmy John and he's one of those kids that just is like running around and like punching everything and he's just kind of an angry little dude and that's a free radical and then Susie Q who's this like cute little blonde cute pigtail girl like comes up to him and is like Jimmy you don't have to be punching holes in things and so she holds his hand and he's like oh I don't and she's like, no. And then they just go play on the playground and like, play with other humans. And everybody gets along. And nobody's wreaking havoc on anybody. <laughs> you got this one over here. Um, so that is my visual analogy for free radicals. And so free radicals come in the form of sun exposure, which is like too much, like when you burn, um, toxins in air and food, uh, smoking, alcohol, processed foods, and sugar are some of the free radicals. So these are all the Jimmy Johns in your life. Okay, that are running around your body poking holes and things. And then the antioxidants, which are all the Suzy Qs, um, are molecules can, that can safely interact with free radicals and terminate the damage that they're causing, which, aka holding his hand. And then, so examples are vitamin C, CoQ10, vitamin E, beta carotene, lycopene, just to name a few, aka vegetables um, and our bond products. Okay, so back to just now that we're clear on what antioxidants and free radicals are and do. Um, peppermint is also in our tea. It aids in digestion. Uh, it helps with excess gas. Um, it's an antispasmodic. Helps with memory, and it also tastes super awesome. Uh, dandelion is one of my favorites for the kidneys. Again, this one goes into the body and goes, "Hey, kidneys!" Uh, yes, it's all over. It's an all o good overall detoxer. Fennel is one of the best anti-gas and antispasmodic. Um, if you guys, like, I mean, this is like when you, the, the pharmacy is actually in your kitchen. You know, if you ever have really bad gas pains, cardamom and fennel seeds, if you chew on those, it'll help. Elder, great antispasmodic, 
anti-inflammatory, boosts the immune system, parsley, super high in vitamin C, which is a antioxidant. Um, again, affinity for the kidneys. Walnut is high in vitamin C. So we're getting packed with antioxidants in this tea. Um, licorice is also really good for the adrenal, the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are the two glands that sit on top of your kidneys. They're responsible for the stress response, our sleep wake, wake cycle, and our blood sugar handling, among a lot of other things, but just to name a few. Pretty important. So the more we can support them, the better. Uh, Uva Ursi is a urinary tract lover. Um, okay, so then the greens. Why do we need greens? What I said earlier, we were talking about vegetables, um, and then there were so studies that show you can eat, you know, nine cups of veggies a day. And I'm like, what human is doing that? And then, you know, my brother who is a large man. Um, but we're typically not getting that, and so Arbon created these greens, which is one serving of veggies and fruits per day, um, you can use it more than once a day. They're packed with those phytonutrients, which help our body heal and rebuild and restore. They're also alkaline forming, um, and they come from the four food groups, the reds, greens, yellows, and blues, and they're lightly heated to enhance nutrient availability. Now, why this is important, um, Two reasons. One is to eat the rainbow is the best multivitamin there is. <laughs> I Google rainbow foods. This came up and I was like, really? <laughs> it's just amazing to me. Just kidding. You know what I mean. Don't get any ideas, kid. Um, but I, I want to point something out that we are the only species that cooks. We use heat. Why? Because it, it's like pre-breaking down our food. Do you guys notice that we have a really big brain? <laughs> because we do this. We pre-break down our food so our, it takes less stress off of our, more stress off of our, intest our uh, digestive tract. Again, I'm going to go back to pick on cows because they spend a lot of time doing that. And they're really good at that. They have a whole lot of stomachs to do that. <laughs> they eat an average of 8 to 10 hours a day. We eat an average of like, I don't know, depending on the human, like one to three hours a day, even if that. Most of us are, anyway. So, the point is, Arbonne understood that we, to absorb more nutrients, we lightly heated things. Because um, there were a few studies that came out to show that um, the nutrients that we were getting from kale versus the nutrients we were getting from kale that was lightly heated, we were getting more nutrients from a lightly heated kale than we were raw. Now, I'm not saying don't eat raw, because eat a variety, but, um, but in terms of the highest absorbability, Arvon understood that. So, yes, so we're not what we eat, we're what we absorb. So then the Mind Health, this is the new product that just came out um, this past month, um, contains the vitamin B12, uh, which is what we've talked about as being deficient, grapeseed extract, which is actually really cool for circulation, especially in the nervous <coughs> system. Um, uh, phosphatidylserine from sunflower seed uh, feeds the nervous system and brain health as well. And then CoQ10 is a really potent antioxidant that specifically has an affinity for the brain. So a lot of, there's all of this, uh, I don't even want to say controversy, but these issues with, the issues with concussions. How many of you guys in here have either suffered from a concussion or have a kiddo that has? <coughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of a serious deal. And so CoQ10 is my number one fish oil and grapeseed extract and amino acids, <coughs> hospital serine, and CoQ10 are essential for brain health specifically and then the B vitamins for the whole nervous system. So Arvon did the research. When I saw this formula, I was like, that's my, basically my concussion protocol. And then there's the body cleanse that they just came out with. So ginger contains ginger, which is an antioxidant, healing and soothing properties and affinity for the GI. Aloe, which is also soothing and anti-inflammatory, a mild laxative component, um, and actually boosts the immune system. Glutamine. So L-glutamine uh, is a vital nutrient for the intestines to rebuild and repair. So whenever I hear IBS, Crohn's, leaky gut, any gastrointestinal issue, at some point in time, I will give L-glutamine. It is so healing to the intestinal wall. Uh, choline, 
which is important for liver function and brain develop development. Choline is also partially responsible for keeping the liver clear from fat buildup. Uh, and then magnesium, again, which is a deficiency that I've been seeing. It's a mineral involved in over 300 reactions in the body. And again, it's like the more we need, the, this is filling the gas tank every day because life will keep lifing at us. I mean, the other thing that magnesium does, DNA synthesis, muscle contractions, blood pressure regulation, protein synthesis, insulin metabolism, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you guys think, again, I apologize for this analogy um, in advance. You guys have watched National Geographic ever? Have you ever seen a snake swallow a rat? Yes. One of the most intense things, right? Like, that is really ultimately how our intestines are contracting. It's like this, like, kind of like squeezy, wavy movement thing. That's we eat food, we have something called uh, chyme that then we pass through the intestines, to, and then we're absorbing things out of that. And so we need magnesium to help with that squeezy, wavy, squishy movement. <laughs> That's the technical medical term. <laughs> I got that right out of test, that's why I'm telling you guys. Um, so again, magnesium is just super, super important. And the fact that Arbonne uh, knew this and put that in their new um, product is really important. So Digestion Plus, this might be my favorite product. Um, why do we need beneficial bacteria? So bacteria line our GI tract and they help us break down and absorb our food. They help us make vitamins. They play a key component in our immune system. And the analogy that I've been using is like we are a condo for them. There are more of them than there are cells in our body. I'm going to say that again. There are more of them than there are cells in our body. Like we are housing them. And if they're happy, guess who else is going to be happy? Give us two thumbs. This <laughs> guy. Right? And so the analogy that I've been using is we're ultimately a condo. Now, are you this kind of condo with lovely granite countertops and super happy and the plumbing works? <laughs> you pick it up when I'm putting it down. <laughs> or are you this? <laughs> First time. Yeah. <laughs> like, where would I want to stay? If your bacteria are happy, you will be happy. And again, all the things that Arbonne has designed back on that table on the left, uh, then you will be more like that. Now, some of us come into the 30 Days to Healthy Living feeling like that, and then come out of it feeling like that. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, so just to think about what kind of house you are. Uh, giving your bacteria. So when it says prebiotic, probiotic, and enzymes, what that means is the prebiotic, or fructooligosaccharides, or FOSs, is like food, not like, it is food. It's food for the bacteria. And because there's been uh, studies showing that when you take just straight probiotics, which is the bacteria, they'll multiply because they're alive in your intestinal tract. But if you take back probiotics, bacteria, with FOS, prebiotics, then it's like they get into your intestinal tract and they wake up and they're like, a steak dinner! This is awesome! And then they'll start reproducing more. Um, and so we want a lot of bacteria, healthy bacteria, in our GI tract. The other thing, so when it says prebiotic, probiotic, and enzyme, so the prebiotic is the food for the bacteria, the probiotic is the bacteria. The enzymes are all of these things that ends in ACE, and we need ACEs to break down our food. It also has peppermint, which we went over in the tea, it's soothing for the gut bacteria, gut bacteria, soothing for the GI tract, and then chamomile, which is a soothing for the GI as well as the nervous system. Because if you guys heard that our gut is our second brain, have you guys heard that? Mm -hmm. Our gut is our second. I'm going to go with our gut is our brain. Like, these guys are so connected in terms of neurotransmitter talk and the bacteria are talking to the brain. And so really, the healthier your gut, the healthier and happier you will be. So bacillus coagulans is the beneficial bacteria probiotic in our bonds specifically. Um, and there's lots of different strains of bacteria. So I want to be clear that this is just one worker. 
So again, the other analogy that I use for our government.